I was born in LA, but a little bit later on in life, we moved to Virginia. Um, and um, it was a culture shock in the sense that in LA, while it is obviously the United States, there are a lot of other Latinos there, and it's a more accepting society of um, the Latino culture. Uh, when I moved to Virginia, it felt like everyone was white. And I remember one time in class, there were a couple of other Latino kids in class with me. And we were on the playground, um, and we were talking about something in Spanish. And one of the teachers came and uh, came in and told us, don't, don't speak Spanish, you have to speak English. And uh, I think that was one of the first times where um, it kind of hit me that I couldn't be myself, per se. Because um, I never even thought about it. Speaking in Spanish in LA is like speaking English anywhere else. And uh, to know that like, I felt like there were limits in terms of what I could do um, uh, was not an experience that I've, I've forgotten. I, I still remember that moment, and it's one of the moments that um, can I think back to whenever I feel like what it was like when I was trying to figure out who I was as an American. Uh, my identity was kind of hard for me to, to figure out. I normally didn't associate myself as Salvadorian growing up just because I didn't really know that many other people. Um, and also when I would go back to El Salvador, uh, they would always see me as an American. They wouldn't see me as a Salvadorian. But when I would come back and grow up, you don't actually kind of quite fit in in the U.S. because you're not um, Caucasian. So I always had a struggle of well, I don't look like a lot of people that I grew up with, but people back from my country of origin, from my family, where my family's from, didn't necessarily recognize me as one of their own. Um, but as I've grown up, I've um, embraced the fact that I am an American, and that's unquestionable, and um, I recognize where I came from, and that's an important part of me regardless of you know, anyone else's opinions.